I was in the children's home in the UK. I was only 10. This man in a suit, he says, how'd you like to go to Australia? You know, he said, the sun shines every day. You pick oranges off the trees for your breakfast. So your mother's dead, you know, so you might as well. Now you're telling me that she might not have been dead after all. Why has no one ever heard about her? The organised deportation of children in care. They've been deprived of their identity. I met a woman recently who never knew she had a mother still living in England who had no idea where she was or what had happened to her. I'm here today to see if any of you are in the same position. I think I've got a mother. Everybody's got a mother. What happened to these children is an outrage. We're um, processed in here. He had this big stick and he will... <laughs> the boys put every stone of their building together. We don't have any more information. Why don't you ask your own government? They're the ones who sent the kids out there. They need to find the families they lost. They had to stop crying when I was eight, I didn't know how to start now. You're fighting for us, Margaret, you're on our side. They just want to know who they are. Mother and daughter, together. It was the happiest moment of, of my life. life.